surprise! Our craft today will prevent Sam from ruining my clothes with chewing gum. <gasps> Think I can hear something. <laughs> and it's coming from here? Sammy! Eureka! Who? I said Eureka! My hypothesis was right! I hope your hypothesis is related to my shirt. It is! Chewing gum doesn't like cold, so we combine gum with frost and boom! A perfectly clean shirt. Oh, yes, it is clean. Great job. Actually, I know tons of ways to remove chewing gum from clothes. For example, we can use an iron hair dryer and tape. That's very cool, but we agreed that you'd help me with the craft. With great pleasure. And wash the rest of the clothes? Uh, listen about washing. Let's get back to the craft. Guys, now we'll draw the layout of a maze where Sam's chewing gum will roll. By the way, Sam, you'd better sort these clothes according to color and wash them separately. This way they won't get stained. Yes, yes. And there are a couple of t-shirts with Nutella stains. You need to pre-wash them before putting them into the washing machine. So maybe I'd better help you with the craft first. Uh, I'm doing just fine. You can focus on the washing. Washing is boring. And crafting is fun. Sam, you can make any task fun. <laughs> Guys, be careful with hot glue. Ask an adult to help you. It's the matter of creative approach. Any routine can be super mega interesting. So even washing can be fun? Highly unlikely. Of course it can. Sam, you're the famous creative slime. Brainstorm a little and the solution will come naturally. Creative, creative, creative! Sam, it's like you're summoning a ghost. You sound kind of creepy. Shivery cheddars, I got it! It's so easy and genius, totally my style. I didn't doubt ya. You've always been a very creative slime. So, we almost finished the body of our vending machine. Huh? Don't you think it looks like a maze? I always dreamed about walking in a mysterious labyrinth. It's so exciting. Well, of course I'm happy that Sam came up with a creative washing option, but it's become suspiciously quiet again. Hmm, that's weird. Creative washing, easy peasy. Um, so fast? That's even more suspicious. Nothing to suspect, it's just about being creative. Okay, guys, be careful while working with an awl. This is where we need to insert a piece of a pen. We've already cut it to the necessary size. So Sam, tell me, how did you deal with the dirty clothes? I threw them away. What? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Very funny. That was sarcasm in case you didn't get it. Snap. Come on, Sue, it was funny. Well, I did fall for it. Anyways, don't switch the topic, Mr. Sly Slime. What happened to the clothes? Simple. I just put them into the freezer. I have a guess, but I'll still ask. What for? Well, the chewing gum got off thanks to the cold, so the other stains will also fall off. Okay, I saw that coming. Sammy, I'll count that as washing. Now, can you help me with the craft? At your service. Make the wheel for our vending machine. Uh, one moment. And the wheel is ready. Guys, check out the cool wheel Sammy made. With its help, the chewing gum will get into our machine. Sammy, you are definitely way better at crafting. So are you. Hold your tongue, Mr. Creative Washing. I wash the clothes so well that afterwards they look brand new. Are you trying to say that I'm not good enough at washing? Mm, not trying, but saying it clearly. Sam, you're not good enough at washing. You have to face the truth and acknowledge your imperfections. You'll regret these words when you see my slime washing skills! Huh. Yeah, yeah. The central part of our machine needs to be transparent. That's why we'll glue this plexiglass to the body. So, Sam, why are your incredible washing skills so special? Oh! All because of my cool secret life hacks! I get clean your shirt using the freezer. And let me guess, next time you'll put all the clothes into the oven so all the stains will get hot and run away? You can joke all you want, but you'll be shocked when you see perfectly clean clothes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe you'll even iron them? Maybe I will. Anyways, you'll be shocked. Guys, this trick is called manipulating slime perfectionism. Sounds smart, right? <laughs> I came up with it myself. You just have to tell Sammy that he's not perfect at something and done. 
You can see the result. <laughs> How else could I make Sam wash our clothes? And our machine will work with the help of this wheel. We'll attach the wheel to the base of our craft, and we'll also need a smaller wheel like this. Wow, Sammy, you're just, um… Yes, yes, I'm awesome, we all know this. Let's do some crafting now. The clothes are washed, and I also helped with the craft. I guess someone here is just awesome! I wonder who that is. Trying to manipulate slime perfectionism again. What? How did you know? It's too easy. I use the famous slime deduction technique. Wow, I didn't know that existed. Uh, tell me more. Do you think I'll put all my cards on the table just like this? Ooh, that's very naive. Guys, give a thumbs up if you want to know about slime deduction. The more likes we get, the faster he tells us. Right, Sammy? There you go. You know, I think I'll tell you about slime deduction right now. Wow, Sammy, that makes me happy. But why all of a sudden? You pardon me for the chewing gum on your shirt. Oh, I forgot it long ago. Come on, tell me about your slime deduction. I love to learn new things. It's my inspiration to create new unusual outfits. And here we'll put the chewing gum. So the first rule of slime deduction is to pay attention to details. Wow, just like in fashion. Details create the right look and give the outfit a certain vibe. What kind of details helped you to reveal my small manipulation? Small, you say? I washed, ironed, and folded a ton of clothes! And now we'll make a cool shoot for the gum. Just like a water slide. <laughs> Sammy! Tell me more about your deduction? I'm so curious! Well, first, speech is very important, especially certain words. For example, you said good many times. Mm, so what? It's just a word. What could that mean? It means that in this way you tried to call to my inner perfectionist. Huh. Interesting. Go on. Second, you used the trick of enhancing. Enhancing? I've never heard of that before. Uh, explain, please. I'm puzzled. When I started to prove that I'd wash the clothes, you said maybe you'll even iron them. You said it on purpose so I would iron the clothes in addition to washing. Wow. <laughs> You're observant. Observation is the key skill of slime deduction. But there is also point three. Oh. I'm all yours. It's just your language. Wow. Explain. When you told me that I'm not good enough at washing, you moved your elbow to the side and looked at the upper right corner. It means that you didn't think so. I said it on purpose to make me want to prove the opposite. Oh, that's impressive. See? Slime deduction is the best way to reveal manipulations. Now I'll use it as well. Thanks, Sammy. Sammy, now you can enjoy chewing gum and my clothes will be safe. What show? You said that you forgot about it. Moreover, I washed everything. <laughs> Just kidding, you did great. You washed all the clothes perfectly and helped with the craft. Guys, just check out how fun it is to help the chewing gum find the way out from our labyrinth. I bet you won't believe me when I say that I can chew all this gum. I can do it easily. Oh no, Sam, that doesn't work. Now I know the trick and can see all your manipulations right away. What do you mean? First, you said I bet you won't to awaken my inner perfectionist that wants to be good at everything. Second, you used the psychological trick of challenging, saying that you can chew all the gum easily. And third, at the end of the phrase, you bent right, which proves your intention to get all of the gum. Hmm. I wish I'd never taught you that. I will never tell you about my secret techniques again. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. Are you ready for a new awesome craft? As you can see, I've already colored all the pieces. Wow. So we are making a time machine. No, we're gonna make a vending machine for your chocolate coins. 
Why are you so obsessed with time machines? Thanks to this transparent piece, we'll see the chocolate coins rolling down. Now, let's attach this plastic piece with the help of hot glue. Guys, ask an adult to help you at this stage. So, admit it. A time machine is a very useful everyday device. Actually, I wouldn't mind having my own personal time machine. You can go back in time to finish all the things you plan to do, for example. Or you can jump into the future to finish the craft quickly. I never have enough time to complete my to-do list. Wow, cool! Wow, no wonder. Here it is. I brought it so you don't forget anything. Thanks, Sammy. Yeah, my day would be super productive if I had a time machine. Ugh, Susie, I definitely find a better way to use my personal time machine. Oh, why don't you like my idea? I think it's a rather effective time management method. You know, going back in time to wash dishes doesn't sound all that exciting. I'd go back in time to eat Nutella forever! <laughs> Wait, how are you gonna eat Nutella forever? Just imagine, you finish a jar of Nutella, go back a few minutes, and the jar's full again! Guys, give a thumbs up if you want to eat Nutella forever, too. <laughs> Seriously, though, time travel requires careful preparation. Oh, shoot, everyone says that, but so difficult! Get in and go! Um, Sam, is time traveling as simple for you as brushing your teeth? Guys, we made the upper barrier on our little door. We need a coin to make the lower one. By the way, it would be fun jumping into the future where your teeth are already brushed every morning! So you can make them dirty with chocolate coins again! Also with Oreo, Nutella, ice cream, waffles! Uh, I'm afraid this list is endless. Marshmallows! Chocolate flakes! Honey flakes! With the help of this moving piece, the chocolate coins will fall into the machine. It'll look like this. Cool, right? Spaghetti! Cheese balls! Crackers! Amy, please stop! I just love all kinds of treats! The door for our vending machine will work thanks to these rubber bands. Wow, looks like a time portal. Huh, have you already been inside the time portal, Sammy? And if you have, why didn't you take me with you? You don't need to see a time portal to understand what it looks like. You can just watch movies, like I do. Ah, well, you're a real professional at that. You bet. <laughs> this is how the door will work. It'll push the chocolate coins straight into the machine. Sue, I didn't know you weren't a fishing. What are you talking about, Sammy? I'm too obsessed with fashion, you know? I simply don't have time for fishing. I need this string for the craft. With the help of this string, we'll be able to move the door we've just made. It's actually fun to cast a fishing rod, sit on a stone, enjoy the sunset. Yep, you don't even notice the time fly by. Poof. Let's remove the extra part of the stick and fix the construction with glue. Our mechanism for the coin's descent is ready. All right, while Sam's dreaming of fishing, we're going to make the body of our vending machine. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button not to miss new videos. Sammy, have you made the piece I asked? Everything is calm. You can hear the waves and then you notice the bobber moving. Huh, I guess Sam's gonna have a new hobby soon. <laughs> Ugh, so can you imagine it? I was daydreaming and didn't notice the time go by. Well, think of it as time traveling. Guys, Sammy made a great handle for our machine. Right. Let's see. And I'll place this here. There you go. The mechanism we're making now will push the chocolate coins into the machine. It's so strange. Sometimes you don't notice the hours fly by and sometimes minutes can seem awfully long. Yeah, right. It depends on what you're doing. For example, now that we're crafting, I don't even know how much time has passed. It's the same when you're reading Marvel comics. <laughs> you just open the book and bam! Got the last page in no time. That's why it's so cool to have hobbies. 
Mine are crafting and fashion. But I'm always open to something new. Even fishing at sunset would be fun. Now we need to glue this piece to the body of the machine. So, shall we make a time machine next time? I have some design ideas. Well, design is not quite enough for time traveling. Carefully cut the extra part. Guys, look, if I pull this string, the mechanism's activated. Perfect. Why do you doubt we can make the greatest time machine ever? Sammy, we haven't even finished this craft yet. First of all, you need to create a detailed blueprint of the time machine. A detailed blueprint? Easy peasy. <laughs> we made the base of our machine. Now we can move to the next step. Guys, now we're going to make a lever that will activate our machine. Ask an adult to help you at this stage of the craft. Well, Sammy, are you convinced now that even making a blueprint of a time machine is very difficult? Do you underestimate me as usual? I created the blueprint and considered every detail. Wow, so quick? So how are we gonna travel in time? It's really simple and genius. Sounds promising. By the way, we're making a base for the lever that will activate our machine. So Sammy, tell me your simple and genius plan. Right. <clears throat> we'll take a lot of waffles. Cover them with Nutella. Whoa, are you sure we're talking about time traveling? Let me finish. <sighs> we'll cover them with Nutella. Then, this is important, we'll put a camera next to the plate. Oh, wait, Sam, you're confusing me. Are we gonna get to the actual time machine construction? Hear me out, Susie. <sighs> we'll put a camera to see where all the waffles disappear so fast. <sighs> Guys, we need to glue the lever to the body of our machine. Insert the lever into the thread and this opening and glue its base. So, did you memorize the plan? This is how we'll figure out the time travel technique and we'll build our time machine based on that. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but waffles don't travel in time. Ugh, what do you mean they don't? So why every time I start eating waffles is there a whole plate full of them and a second later the plate's empty? Mm, it's simple. You like waffles so much that you don't notice finishing the whole plate. I don't know. It's not convincing. I think you're not paying enough attention. <sighs> Fine. Anyway, you need to work on your plan some more. Our vending machine is ready! Sue, how about adding some more decor? Yes, Sam, you're right. Ta-da! Shall we add more golden elements? There. And don't forget chocolate coins! Sure, Sam. We're making all this for them, after all. It's time to fill the machine with chocolate coins! Oh, that's my favorite part! Sam, now all your chocolate coins will be stored in our cool vending machine! Guys, our machine is ready! Give a thumbs up and hit the bell button if you liked making this craft with us! Well, Sammy, are you ready to get the first coin out of our vending machine? I am! Here we go! I hope the chocolate will help you generate ideas for the time machine project. Oh yeah! So we're gonna build the most powerful time machine ever! Also, chocolate will help me design stylish outfits. <laughs> I need one more coin. Here you are. Yummy! 